Hello and welcome to another one of my videos and in this video I'm actually going to be stripping down the Mac 28 engine which is in the Hyper 7 which I'm basically working on at the moment to get up to a nice good standard. Works fine at the moment but I just want to smooth off the rough edges as we say. And in this video I'm basically going to strip the engine partially down and do a bit of sealing. Now the reason I'm doing this is just to prevent any air leaks. Now I know this engine doesn't have any at the moment but basically this just reassurance basically so put this on all the sealing surfaces just to make sure I'm not going to get any air leaks in the future. Now this engine was new as um, the person who sold it to us said and he said he just finished running um, the run through process isn't it? or the running I should say process but like I say just for my own peace of mind I'm going to strip it down put a bit of sealing on it, put it back together and see how it runs. It does need setting up because the mixtures are way out at the moment. I've got it so it's idling okay but um, it's just a bit hesitant on the throttle. I know what it is but anyway. Uh, the first thing I actually noticed when I took this all apart was um, the exhaust gasket's totally knackered. Now a lot of people will see this and just ignore it. Well the problem is the exhaust gasket can actually make you run a lean mixture because if it's getting air in as the exhaust pulls bounces back up the exhaust and pushes the unburnt fuel back into the engine it can also draw in air past the gasket which actually leans off the mixture so never neglect the exhaust side seals or if you think you've got a leak in the exhaust fix it because it, it does make a difference not just because there's exhaust gases getting out but because there's actually air getting in um, not many people actually think that. But anyway, to start off with, um, we'll go from the back plate and work forward. and there's one full pull start assembly and this will lead us to the the back crank case here so now we'll just get the allen key which fits in there and just crack them all off now this is more habit with me but I always crack the nuts off in a star pattern a lot of people just tighten them up in a star pattern but it's not a bad habit to have, it just releases the tension evenly on all the bolts and you never undo the bolts fully and that's true for when you're tightening the bolts up as well, you never your hand, I go around finger tight them then basically notch them up in a star pattern a bit at a time just to even the torque out across the engine block just to make sure it, there's no uneven torques around it and twist and distort the actual either the block or the, the plate itself which can cause air leaks but anyway we shall just slowly take this out put them here and always keep track where you're putting your screws because all of them are always different sizes and stuff so there we go so this is one of the many places where you can actually get an air leak now these if I just take this off I'll show you these actually have an o-ring seal on the back surface to actually seal against any air leak getting into the crankcase. I'll just take that out. And that's the little, um, basically if you didn't have the pull start on you wouldn't need this. And the little fan pattern is just more of a gimmick than anything else. It won't make any improvement to the floor. It might actually mess it up, but no, well, it's the one way of but basically, this inside the crankcase for a two-stroke engine, um, the crankcase is used to pressurise the ingoing charge into the engine by the downward force of the piston. It gets sucked through the crank from the carburetor, so it gets through the centre into the crankcase. Piston goes down, forces the fuel into the combustion area of the cylinder. It goes up, bang, there you go. So this is one area you can't neglect in basically sealing it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some kitchen roll and just make sure these surfaces are clean. If you're going to see that, make sure they're clean. And when you're in here as well, just make sure there's no muck or bullets or 
shavings or anything in the engine which there isn't on this one which to be honest he did say it was new and it does look pretty new in here this hasn't seen much use at all actually which to be honest does add up to what he said about just running it in and if you look down the bore you can actually see the piston and stuff and by the look of it there's no scoring out on that anyway so that's all good so now for the sealing now this is actually Loctite high temperature sealant and um, this doesn't go hard it stays a bit tacky which is always a good thing. I've used this on my bikes for head gaskets and stuff so it does work. Now a lot of people hum now is that, that humming and hawing at me now for using my finger but uh, well. so if you want to use gloves use gloves but this is what I do. I'm basically just dab it all around the inner surface of the or the outer surface of the um, the rear crankcase where the rear crankcase plate would be. Don't put too much on though because you just want a fine layer all the way around just enough to seal the back of the crankcase. Literally not that much at all just enough to say you've got a thin layer on. And once you've got that on. Now the other areas where you can get air leaks is around the carb. Now the carb itself you can have air leaks within it so around the body through the high speed needle low speed needle and all the little crevices in between the carb and the body of the engine you can actually have air leaks as well now these are normally sealed with two o-rings at the top and the bottom with which help prevent it but it does help just having a tiny bit of um just a tiny bit of um sealant on it just to make doubly sure the carburetor is um, sealed properly so that's what I'm going to do so I'll just loosen off the the little screw there just to take this out and you're not going to budge because no doubt you've never budged in your life so take that out and there we go just wiggle the carb off and yet again check down all the orifices just to check that there's an out there and also clean them so as we can see there's a lot of muck. One thing you have to make sure of is you don't drop any of this down into the crankcase because um, little bits of grit in your engine is no good. So yet again clean up the surfaces on the carb and then just literally dab the sealant around the, the sur outer surface of the of where the carb is actually going to put up to the body of the, the engine there. And that's that one done and yet again just place this on here. Ooh, just give it a wiggle. Just make sure it's seating there nicely. And also another thing I like to do is put some Loctite on the screw itself because this is going into an area where air leaks could actually get up through the, the fastening for the carb. So just stick some around there just to actually seal this little seat in there and that should be um, after that I would say to seal this one now not all engines actually have this port on it I like this port because I'm debating whether to put a boost bottle on this engine or not I'm um, still debating but if I was to put the boost bottle on I would put a nipple on there and do exactly the same grease it up put it on but this has actually got a fibre gasket on here and I'm not going to move it because I know, I know that's not going to leak too much but basically that's all you do to seal your engine it's pretty simple and now you are all laughing at me because I'm going to have to take the back plate off because I've missed that out <laughs> the one way bearing Oh god. Anyway, fast forward this bit. You should now not have any problems with air leaks and it should hopefully be running okay and if once this bolt is in like a so we shall put it back in the car and take it out. Well, I say back in the car I'll have to try and find a spare exhaust gasket first so I'll go and look in my parts bin and see if I've got one and um, we shall see if this baby starts.